Hello everybody, it's been a while since I've done a figure review, but I just got this in the mail today. It is a Ranma one half female type um, SH figure arts, and uh, just came out very recently, just, uh, just the other day. So I thought before I opened it up, we'd just take a quick look at it in the package. Um, so let's see there, just Ranma one half. On the back, we've got some nice uh, art from the comic, back from the first issue. Uh, there's showing some of the stuff she comes with, some of the weapons, and we'll uh, we'll show that in a minute. There's all the legal jargon for those of you who are interested. Uh, on the side, we just got some nice posing there, and turn her around, Ranma Saotome. And some more posing. Uh, similar on the bottom there. And on the top, we got a nice reaction of Ranma freaking out over there. Uh, so, that's quick and easy. So I'm going to crack her open. And then uh, let's take a closer look at uh, what's inside, shall we? I'll be back. Okay, now that we've got her opened up, uh, we'll take a look at the figure in a second. Let's just first check out the uh, accessories here. So uh, for her sets of hands, there's one, two, three, four, and then she's wearing the other pair. So the first one are these tiny little hands. Oh, sorry. I don't know how well I can really zoom in on this. Uh, there we go. So a little uh, set of fists for punching. We've got... Uh, and I'm glad that they included these, the um, kind of classic, I just got beat up and I'm flying through the sky set of hands. Those are really great. They did a good job on getting really tiny little, I don't know, delicate fingers in there. They don't look chunky or messy at all. And then um, she's got, she's wearing one right now, and then the other one's here, just a pair of relaxed open hands. And then... Also, she's wearing one of them right now, but she's got a pair of gripping hands for a couple a couple of the accessories that she comes with. And then she's got these kind of, um, I don't know, just kind of kung fu hands, I guess, just for nice posing. If you can see that at all. The wrists are really small, so just be careful if you're uh, switching them out because those little arm pegs are really small. But, uh, okay, those are good. And then, yeah, she's wearing a pair right now. Um, then next, we've got, of course, the kettle. That was a nice addition of them to put in. Um, it's actually pretty weighty. It's, I think, a solid piece. I don't know. And they went, you probably won't be able to see, but they went so far as to actually color the inside of that with a, a little bit of, like, an orangey red or something. So that's really nice. And then, well, we're on the gold stuff. She's got, uh, like, a bow staff. Uh, let me focus on there. There we go. She's got a nice bow staff, this kind of metallic-looking uh, paint. And then and it's pretty big. It's, uh, yeah, same height as the figure, basically. And then we've also got this uh, kind of Chinese sword, kind of kung fu sword, um, with some nice detailing. It's got a good kind of, you know, metallic sheen to it, and there's no sloppy paint. It's, considering its size, it's really nice. Um, and now, let's take a look at the faces. So she's wearing one, obviously, and then there's a couple uh, interchangeable ones, so this is just sort of a happy looking around kind of one. This is the one that was it was packaged with, which is just a standard happy, happy-go-lucky Ranma. And then, uh, <laughs> I like this one a lot. We've got the freaking out Ranma, which is really well done. The design of the character seems to be based off more of the OAVs and uh, animated later animated movies and stuff, and not so much off the manga or the early episodes, because it's a bit more uh, sharp looking, I guess. And then there's also this stand. Um, there we go. So, uh, you can't really see that, huh? It says Ranma across it with this kind of 
typical Ranma sort of design around the edge. And so in addition to having the the normal figure stand, which I didn't break, that just popped off. <laughs> um, there, we'll put that back on. Um, but in addition to having that, which goes around the figure's waist, it's got this, which can be um, also adjusted, but it's <laughs> the, the sound effect, which would go along with these hands when she's flying through the air. Um, and it's just a sound effect of like being hit. Just like chadong kind of thing. So that's a pretty nice addition. They didn't have to do that, but that's pretty cool. Okay. Okay, so let's take a look at the Ranma herself. Um, yeah, she looks pretty good. Uh, they got the hair right. Uh, you can see at the back, there's actually shading on the hair. It's not just solid red. The well, I'll do articulation in a second. That's the uh, the other face that she uh, that I put on. That's a slightly more angry one. Uh, good detailing. She's got the little buttons. Like I was saying before, there's no uh, there's not really any paint slop or anything. They've got really light shading uh, throughout it, just enough to bring out the uh, the shapes and folds and stuff. The pants, I, I don't think they have any shading by the looks of it. Um, and then she's got her little boots, or I mean her little kung fu slippers. Just flat white on the bottom. There, uh, There is some little black paint, oops, sorry, on the uh, ankles there for where the, uh, the pant legs tie up. And then she's got her wrist things. Yeah, and they did a good job on that. Trying to get in there, yeah. So, articulation-wise, um, the pigtail does, it's on like a ball, I think. It's got not tons of range, but enough to get a little bit of dynamic posing. Uh, to switch out her faces, you just pop the hair out. I don't know if it's very loose right now, but you just pop the hair off, and then the face slides out underneath. Um, you know what, I'm not going to... Oh. It's coming off now. There we go. So you just do that. Slide the face out. Oh my god! And then you pop whatever new one you want back in. And then uh, pop that on. Pretty simple. And then you just, yeah, make sure it's in there nice. Um, so she's got, uh, her neck is articulated up there. And then I think down in there as well. So she's got a good range there. Um, her arms... They pop in and out a little bit to give her a little extra range. So if you need to lift them up like that, you can. You can see up in there, but then bringing them down, you can just pop them back in like that. And uh, they look they look all right. Um, she's got her elbows with a pretty good range. And then she's got her tiny, tiny, tiny wrists, which... Uh, Yep, they have a good range too, and that's that other grabbing hand, which I'll I'll show her holding her stuff in a minute. Um, at the waist, so she's got this kind of under chest articulation like that, and then this middle piece is actually loose, so you can see it flopping around, and then she moves at the waist there, and then the uh, lower half of her shirt is also a separate piece. And that just kind of floats there, um, which allows for a good, a good range going around. And uh, it gets out of the way of her legs, which uh, maybe you can see in there. I don't know. But uh, same thing. She's got some good range there. They can get pretty high up. And I like how they cut the uh, the pants here because there is a uh, I forget if it was. Figure Arts or Figma, but they brought out a series of Dragon Ball figures and they had the worst like design for the knees where when you bend them, they had these big chunky pieces sticking out. It looked really bad. And I mean, from behind, that doesn't really look so great, but from the front, it's much, much better. And you get a good, good range there. Um, they can go forward about that much. Well, it depends how far out you want to go, but 
and they go back pretty good. And they also, oh yeah, I should mention that, they also can lower or go up a bit depending on what kind of range you need. And then uh, on the ankles, uh, about back that much, forward that much, and they can go side to side quite a bit, which is good for getting that kind of martial arts. Uh, anything goes school of martial arts style and um, did I miss anything oh I think that's it as far as articulation goes so let's get some uh, items in our hands there she is with the uh, the staff like I said it's pretty big it's the same height as she is but um, that looks pretty good and uh, uh, she does have the other gripping hand, so you could put that on as well and have her two-handed. Slide that out. And uh, to pop in the sword here, you just kind of uh, wiggle it in a bit. This, this hand is a little soft, actually. Let's see. There we go. That just pops in like that. And, uh, yeah, same thing. Looks good. And, yeah, same same deal. It's pretty big as well looks good with her and then she's last but not least got the kettle which fits in just fine you could have her smacking somebody with it <laughs> uh, I've seen pictures of the shampoo figure that's going to be coming out and um, pretty sure there's the male Ranma because they had that uh, on display at some places at some conventions and uh, there's a Genma too I don't know if that's actually coming out or not but, uh, yeah, it's really nice. I, I've been waiting since I was a teenager reading Ranma years and years and years ago. I've always wanted a good articulated figure of these guys. So I'm glad to see them finally getting really well, well made. So uh, there you go. If you have any questions about it, um, just leave a comment below and I'll do my best to uh, answer what I can. Um, in the meantime... Yeah, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.